Everybody should know what the top five symptoms of having a heart attack are. Why? It's very simple. If you're having a heart attack, then you need to get to hospital really quickly because if you get there quickly and we get you to a catheter lab and we put a stent into the offending artery, then we are going to save your muscle. Literally, time is of the essence. Time is muscle. And of course, if we get you there in time and we treat the offending problem, then you will do really, really well. If we don't, then you could suffer a heart attack that reduces your heart function, or worse than that, it could kill you. So what are the top five symptoms? Top of the list is chest pain. The typical chest pain of the heart is a crushing pain felt in the middle of the chest. It can go down the left arm or it can go into the jaw. Now you don't have to have pain. Sometimes you might just get indigestion. This is a different type of symptom that sort of represents cardiac pain. And it's a way that the heart's telling you that the blood supply to the muscle is not enough. It's heart cramp, quite literally. But it's really, really important. Now often with this pain, you will feel unwell. If you've got a past history of coronary disease and you get chest pain when you exert yourself, we call this angina, and you may have a spray called GTN. If you take that spray under the tongue, what will happen is the pain will go away. You may get a headache or you may get dizziness. That's an indication that the GTN hasn't expired and it's actually working. Now, if the pain does not clear, very quickly and it persists, then it may well be that you're actually having a heart attack and you need to get to the hospital in an ambulance as soon as possible. Now the second symptom of a heart attack is shortness of breath and particularly breathlessness that occurs at rest and just doesn't clear up and often again you'll feel really unwell with this. Breathlessness occurs because the heart's not contracting well enough to pump blood around the body and you have what's called an oxygen deficit. Now if that's combined with chest pain then of course it increases the likelihood that you are having a heart attack and you need to get to the hospital. The third symptom of having a heart attack is clamminess. Now we all get a little bit hot and bothered but clamminess is different. It occurs and makes you feel really unwell. You're sweaty, you're often cold, cold peripheries, not hot peripheries. And if you've got chest pain and you're breathless, again this is almost certainly going to be your heart or something really important and you need to get to hospital so that the doctors can make a diagnosis very quickly. The fourth symptom of having a heart attack is dizziness. Chest pain, shortness of breath, clamminess and you feeling dizzy coming all together and not clearing up quickly is highly likely to be a heart attack. And the fifth symptom is palpitations. Funny heartbeats, they can be fast, they can be drop beats, they can be any kind of funny feeling that your heart rhythm is just disturbed. And again, if you've got any of those symptoms in collaboration, it increases the likelihood that you may be having a heart attack. And if you feel you're having a heart attack, call an ambulance, get to hospital quickly. If we get you there in time and you are having a heart attack and we treat that offending artery, we can save your heart muscle and maybe even save your life.